Hi! In a previous video, I showed how we can use the make API request command to fetch the full text of a web page. But we can also, of course, use the make API request command to actually query an API. So there are lots of APIs out there that are either public or require a key that we can sometimes obtain for free or cheap. And the problem is that usually they uh, return data in a format like JSON or XML, which is hard to parse and get into the right fields um, in TANA, or maybe we don't even want just the data, we want to actually do something about the data. So GPT is really good at reading JSON, and it becomes kind of a wonder glue that can tie together all kinds of services. So Today I'm going to show you how to make a command that I can put on my daily tag that can generate an overview of the local weather and the local news. And uh, I'm going to end the demo by distributing this as a template that everyone can install. Um, I will show you some API keys during this video, but I'm going to change them right after the video. So um, first we need to find an API that gives us the news. Uh, of course, I could try to just scrape the local newspaper, but there are better ways of doing it. So there's a pretty cool API called News API, and they let you get local news from all around the world. They let you search for keywords like Tesla. Um, and so the good thing to do is just to test it out. Um, so this is an example. It says this is top headlines in US. Let's see if that actually works. Yeah, so it already put in my API key. And yeah, it just gives me this output. So I can just change that country to Norway, which is where I'm living. And um, yeah, we get lots of news, which is great. Um, but these are top headlines. I actually would like a little bit more. Let's see what else. Everything. Let's try everything. Let's try this one. Um, this is, by the way, a plugin um, that makes this look kind of nice. Um, otherwise, it would look uh, all kind of mashed together. So let's see. But I didn't want Q equal Bitcoin. I wanted, oh, that was the wrong one. Um, sources, domains, from, to, language, sort by page size. Huh. So this uses keyword. Top headlines. Does this have any setting? Category sources. The number of results. The articles. The result. Title description. Maybe this is maybe this is what I want for now. Let's go back to this one. Um, and let's just use that. So I can going to start by showing you how I would do it just for myself and I'm going to show you how I can actually make it general to distribute it. So on my day tag, I'm going to create a command and I'm going to, well, first we're going to have fields. So we're going to say today's news and we're going to add a command, make API, well, no, we're going to call it um, generate today's news. And then we're going to have make API request, and I'm going to make this bigger. Let's see. Uh, so the URL is there. And of course, and we're going to have a target node. And that's going to be today's news. But as you can expect, if we just ran this command, we would just get a bunch of gobbledygook inserted there, which we don't want. So we can also supply a prompt that will be sent to so basically what it'll do is it'll first fetch this JSON, then it will take it and send it to GPT with a prompt. And so the prompt uh, will be, for example, below is a JSON uh, overview of the news. Please write a concise summary of the local news. I'm going to do this in English, so it's actually going to translate it from the region. Of course, if I were doing this for myself, I would just keep it in a region. JSON sys context and sys context will be replaced by the output of this API. That's it. That's really it. Let's try. Oh, that didn't work. 
Do we do something wrong here? Oh, sorry, it's the URL that's wrong. Let's try this again. So the API request is usually very quick. What takes a little bit longer is the getting the API response from OpenAI. And as usual, we can pop up. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, this looks good, except this is, oh, I forgot country US. I want country no, NO. So let's do that again. And let's see if we get some Norwegian news. So, but as you see, that worked pretty well. And now, however, if I wanted to put this in a template, I don't want um, in this JSON overview. Okay, so we need to, um, for some reason, um, English, uh, start, start with today's news. Okay, so, you know, so we have to do a little bit of prompt engineering. Um, but the main issue here is really that I cannot share this as a template because first of all, you might not be interested in Norwegian news as interesting as my country is, and you certainly don't want to use my API key. So we have a way of do getting around that. So we can do secret. We actually use secret for this. In ca this case, NO is not really a secret. It's a, it's a configuration, but we're kind of using it for that. So we can say uh, country of news and for API key, I'm going to say secret news API key. And let's see what happens when we, so I'm going to close this. Let's see what happens if I try to run this again. So I do that and it says, oh, no country of new secret found. And there's a new field here where we can enter it. So I'm going to say, no. And then if I run it again, it says, oh, I think I did a, a mistake here. Uh, I should say dollar. Yeah, this is the typical, when you make these things, it takes a little bit of experimentation. And there we get that one. We put in my key, but again, you would put in your key. And now it works, but the advantage of this is I can distribute this as a template. You will be prompted for these two fields. And after that, you'll be able to use it with your own API and focused on your own country. Um, so that was the news. And while that's running, let's add the weather. So very similar process. We want the weather, we want a command generate so we can even be fancy let's say weather sun let's make this there and let's news there is that much more fun make api request um okay so we have here a open source weather forecast and it relies on there's no there's no um there is not even an API key, which is great, but there is a latitude and longitude. So I need to find latitude, longitude, Hamar. Okay, so thank you for that, Google. I guess you're right about that. And now I just need to take this, let's see, copy this. And put it in here. Let's see. And again, make it bigger URL. Okay, let me paste this. And then I'll just put the other one here because I want, this is the latitude that should go there. I hope the higher position is okay. Hopefully the, the API can deal with that. And then the longitude is here. And then what is this thing? T weather, what's that? And current weather. I don't know what happens there with my copying. Okay, so we have the URL. Let's just try if that works. It generates something. And yeah, I assume that's correct. And again, we want a prompt and let's say, um, below is a JSON of a weather report for the local city. Please generate a, an upbeat and zany weather report. 
based on this data. And then we'll put the JSON and then we'll say, start with, you won't believe the weather today. Just to have a little bit of fun. And we'll just put in the target node and we've got that here. Let's try it. So we're running the weather, uh, fetching the JSON, sending it to OpenAI. Okay, let's look at this. So yeah, they're not wrong. This looks pretty accurate and it's kind of fun and again, you know, this shows you how you can take accurate data because people are worried about GPT hallucinating and it does. But uh, the point is we can actually fetch completely accurate up-to-date data and uh, in, in weird formats and we can feed it to, to GPT and we can tell it, you know, write a poem about today's weather, um, write it in a region, write it soberly, write it as fun, um, combine it with this other thing, right? So the opportunities are endless. I'm going to change this into, let's say, uh, latitude equals secret weather latitude and longitude equal weather, lo weather longitude, like that, a secret weather latitude and weather. Okay, so let me just try to make sure that works before I distribute it. So let's see if I now click weather, it's going to say mid latitude and that was the first one, I guess. Boom. And then I click it again and it's going to say it needs the longitude, which should be the second one. And now if I delete it, it should just work. And that means it's working great. So now what I need to do is package this up as a template. And I'm going to call it uh, get the local weather and uh, news report and um, use this. There we go. Uh, use this API calls to get local weather and news and rewrite them as nice, um, nice fields on your daily page. Okay, and so I'm gonna just take, um, so I'm gonna put my daily tag here, I think. Huh, I'm wondering what's the best way of distributing these because I think I, I need to put these fields. Uh, so I'm gonna say, please, add these fields to your daily tag and add these two commands. So I'm just going to do this manually because people already have a daily tag. Otherwise I could have just shared mine, but I, I'm guessing most people already have a daily tag. So I'm, so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to grab a reference. I'm going to grab these two and then I'm going to have to move this to my read-only space. And now I can share as template and it'll let me migrate all of this into the read-only space. Copy link and I've got a nice template that I can share with everyone and I will share with everyone after this video is uploaded.